Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today we're back for another brand new video and I know people right away your eyes aren't deceiving you. I am sitting as me in front of thee and something that isn't Rangers related. I know it feels iffy, I know it feels weird and if I'm honest with you it does feel a little bit wrong but on occasion I have been known to sometimes wear something that isn't Rangers related, you know, sometimes people but this is all a part of it people as you can see we're not here for our regular scheduled program and na 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 we are here for a special video some might say a one-off video for a little while we're obviously going to be here to discuss the charity match that I played in I will show you the highlights from that game there's an 11 goal thriller by the way so if you're sticking around you should see some excitement again I can't promise you the level of the football but football was actually played and obviously just to hear it thank every single person for donating and being a part of the charity. Now there is still two days to go and I will put the link down in the description below if you would like to donate because not only are you helping a great cause but of course you are going to be joining the Ryan Jack raffle as he was very kind enough to sign a shot for me. I went over to Elkenhowie. He was great. He wanted to be uh, help this charity and help my charity match out as much as possible. So shout out to the legend. There is still two days to go and aye, let's go and see the game of football that helped raise a little bit as well as we're currently as my time is uh, recording this video having over £2,000 raised which is incredible and a massive thank you to every single person but I am sure there's people who's been waiting to be able to criticise my football and ability because I spend all my days doing that to people that can actually play football so I enjoy the highlights I'll probably put the, the camera away at some point to just talk over it but here's the game I hope you enjoy and stealing a line from one of my favourite people and favourite channels around kick off and we actually start off on the front foot here. Dan gets on the ball, passes it in to Mr. Sharpdiff, someone you'll recognise. He plays it to Craigie and Craig goes at the back post and it's just a little bit out. But it's a promising start from us people and remember that later on. Big brand in the centre half of Dreams showing good feet there in to Jamie. Jamie's got a nice little switch between him and Div. Dan again, don't judge him too much. He's not wearing an accessory. He's literally got a broken hand people. And speaking of broken... Oh my god, that looked sear. Did it? Did it look sear? I don't know if it's still a penalty with Jamie, aka the flop, you never know. Jamie, you won the penalty, son. You've never scored. Step up, have your moment. And he does, look at that. Cool, calm, composed. Did he dive? Let VAR decide, people. Let the people in the SFA decide. You can see what I think about it anyway, but we move on from it there. I think one angle does show there is contact. I'm just winding the boy up. But speaking of response and everything like that, there's a good wee response here. I'm trying to put a wee bit of pressure on at the edge, but they end up hitting it wide. But the team that we were actually playing actually had a lot of good football and ability in that as well, especially in number eight in the middle of the park. He was brilliant. But it's a simple long ball. That's what breaks us here. Callum, what are you doing, son? You've got to be stronger back there than he was, but it's a rare mistake for the man who never makes a mistake and now we're back at even just five, ten minutes at the game. You're thinking, what a game this is going to be. Callum whips in a ball, aiming for the post. It's actually really well worked a uh, set piece for us, but the touch just cannot fall to me. But it's unlucky and you can see the the, the Waynes hadn't they turned against me just yet. They were pretty excited to see me there for a second. But the game get tight a bit later on and we'll talk about that as the game goes on. I show a pretty decent pace here. I've got nothing really on here, so I just... Do what you're supposed to do. Win a corner. Unfortunately, nothing comes from that corner. But again, we're showing what we're all about. Now, Rab um, tries to ping it into Jamie here. It is a little bit of a poor pass for the man who did score. And number eight's just showing all his ability on the football. That there is wonderful. I know Brandon thinks it's offside, but it's not offside. And listen, that is a great finish to beat Lewis from that tight angle. I think Lewis wasn't happy. There was another ball kicked onto the park during that, but it's worth mentioning. Speaking of mentioning, I had a couple kicks earlier in the game, so I have one myself, but I got the ball, people, all right? And that's ended up being the end of the first third, people. We broke up into three parts just for the opposition. Listen, it's a charity game. There's people want to get involved for five minutes and everything like that. We have to respect that. We had people like that as well. So we ended up playing one of three halves. Back into the old action we go, however, in. It's a bit of a slack pass there. It ends up going by the defender. I just burn number 23 with my pace. Now, I'm thinking, is the goalie coming out? I'm waiting for him. I'm looking up. He doesn't come out. I get kicked. I try and sweat it. Have I messed that up? Yes, people. But he's, oh, no, I like my trademark chips. You know, I just, I just wanted to chip it. But he never gave me it because he's a subscriber. And he knew I wanted to chip it. Speaking of misses, but that saved my blushes a wee bit. That did. And look at Callum here. Look. Callum says, knife it. Nice finishing laughs. 
That's the shit shithousery we need at this club. Again, I'm just kind of up against two centre-halves here in the goalie, so I'll have a wee whoop. I get the ball there, but it's a free kick, and you can see I'm boiling, people. I'm a bit hot right now. Craig kicks the ball into my feet. I end up getting the ball here. Um, I just take, I think it's number six. I take six a wee bit of a walk there. I try and put it in between the legs of the other centre-back, but it's good defending. Sometimes you just hold your hands up and say well played. 21 here tries a nice long ball in, ends up getting very well blocked for big Brandon at centre half. Dan, again not wearing an accessory, it's a nice long ball out to Craig. Craig's first touch is great. I'm running off behind them, I've screened for it, I want it. This is my moment in front of my feather and look at that. <laughs> Pause the video because I need to explain to you what happened. Come in, come closer people right, I just need to tell you son. I'm a bit shit. People, right? Leave back. Go back. I've tried to hit it with my left foot. Everyone knows I'm right footed. I'm trying to get better at it. And I, I scuffed it. Whatever. All right. There's still stuff to be seen. Let's play, play the clip. Sorry. Go down the right hand side. Marley 13. Tries a delicious ball. I ended up faking it. Go back post to the centre half. Tried to get in. Very well saved by the goalie just before I could nick in. Here, I just did a wee bit of a skill move on the channel, win a free, eh, win a corner. Unfortunately, the corners weren't on the money this afternoon. But speaking on the money, kids are getting slight challenged. Shout out to little Davis, sharp divs, son. Speaking of sharp divs, son, he passes to me. <laughs> Don't know where I'm going with that. And I'm looking up, I've just, again, just calming it down a little bit. Want Marley to make that front row, front post run. He can't quite get there, but it ends up winning us a free kick. Eh, I sorry, a throw in. This is a very good save for Lewis here, number four, who's got paces to burn here, by the way, but it's well controlled and nice and calmed. Now you've got wee Aaron. What you got, son? What you got? You've got fear in your eyes, Aaron. Come on. That's what we need. Brandon, stock in. Put a marker down, Aaron. That's what we need, man. Speaking of what we need, Big Parry the body came in looking like a tank with red bits on and he fancied that Aaron never though. I'm, I'm not getting in there. I'm not getting in there. It's making my heat hot. But this is what I want to show you about this team, right? Look at the commitment of everybody. Run Even Aaron's running back. It's a bit like a gazelle, but he's trying. All right? This is what we've got. And a couple other kicks. That, I mean, we were getting kicked for bullet posts. Especially me, but I like it. It gets me gone. Parry into uh, Sharp Div here. Sharp Div with a nice little through ball in. Again, I'm just holding my run to the back post, but Craig is so brilliant here. And to be fair, it's actually a very good save by the goal as we look to bring it back to 2 2. But from the resulting corner, sometimes the clip speaks for it. You can see me, I'm the one, let me take it. And I've got a lot of love for Wee Aaron, but I didn't love him when he does this. And aye. As you can hear, we weren't too happy. <laughs> Speaking of happy, however, we end up getting it. And again, I'm boiling at this point, so I've picked the ball up at halfway. I'm waiting for the challenges to come in here, so I take a wee touch. And then I'm like, all right, I'm just going to keep running. And I end up getting the penalty kick. And that's a wee bit of afters between me and number nine. We won't go into it too much, but there was a reason behind that. But again, it is there, and I think it's quite clear as day as a penalty kick. I know they weren't happy about it, but you can let me know in the comment section below. And again, it's not about me, ladies and gentlemen, so I gave the penalty to Marley 13 as I fixed my camera. Fix it. Marley 13 for your first goal. Right down. I think that looked a wee bit right. In. Oh, I don't know what the celebration is. I don't know what this is. It's kind of like a scary movie when the lassie comes out the telly. I don't know what it is, Marley, but I like it, son. I like it for you. Now we're back into the game 2-2. And less than 120 seconds later, people, Jamie, nice and brave, gets kicked a wee bit there. Um, I think that sharp divot plays it in. And again, I know what I'm doing there. You could say it's clever centre-forward play, but it's 100% a penalty kick. I know the challenge is coming. I jump up, and this next angle will show. I know they were fuming about this penalty, but aye. Even the biggest hater will look at that and I'm going to be honest, I don't know why I've done that, but I have people, right? Mentality monsters, kick all you want, I'll get back up. Up steps Marley 13, can he make it too? With the worst penalty I've ever seen, but it counts and it goes in the back of net. That's what we love to see and again, you might notice my face here there. I'm happy we've scored, I'm just a bit angry people and I'm just saying, Let's keep the heads. Then we go in at the end of the second half. Sorry, which, again, there's still a half to play. And it's weird, right? Because it's 3-2 it's now to us. I've had a wee bit of a howler on my left foot. Should have done better on my right foot. And I'm sayer, people, right? I've been through the battles 
in the first half. But this is what I like about this team, right? This is what I like about us. We're all coming, we're checking on everybody, making sure we're all right. The tactical adjustment we made from the first quarter, if you want, or first third, I should say, to a 3-5-2 in the setting, worked out to perfection. And Dan's just making sure my head doesn't drop there. And I like that. I mean, I was still confident. I was just frustrated about my miss. But they picked me up and they say, go and get some goals. And I, the third quarter goes. I've been heated up now. Wee Davis runs on the park here. Goes and sees his feather, Sharp Div, the man. And you can see my dad's wanting to have a wee word with me as well. Look at it. It's father, son. It's connections, people. What more can you want in the game? There's layers. And I go and speak to my father. My father just says, hang a wee bit more to the left and cut inside. They can't deal with your pace. And I thought, all right, father. I'll try it. So right away, I'm kind of going to a wee bit more to the left-hand side. I picked the ball up here. Again, they can't deal with me at all. I just skipped by number nine. Hit it with my left foot. Again, it's not a great shot, but... It's put in a decent area, and me and Aaron, the stodge double salute, son. They want to see that on the other side of Edinburgh. They're not like that. And I gave the old Cholak chest pump. A wee bit of celebration with the boys. We love to see it. And I'm actually laughing with Craig there, because I was like, I hit that left foot shot worse than the year I missed in the first half. But it went in. Doesn't matter if you're one-footed. Keep trying, people. Speaking of keep trying, they whip in a ball here. Lewis, very safe hands. Again, always reliable for the big man. Speaking of big men, Sharp Divs battling Figo in the middle, middle of the part. I believe that was his name. I believe he played professionally, if I can say that. Uh, Craig, I mean Craig as in me, ends up nipping in there and winning a hospital pass for Aaron, but it's just slight out of reach. But it's good play from us. Jamie tries to cut back to play it to Raz, I believe, and ends up giving the ball away and number 99. Shout out to the boy coming out the third part tunnel. Hits it for long range. That was a Gogsy reference. You're welcome, everyone, in the comment section below. And I, what a screamer. But this is what I like as well, right? Look at this for a kickoff glitch. Raz, calming it down. Calming it down. Sometimes you don't need to always go forward, but beating the press. Something we worked on. Great ball in behind. Brandon, a.k.a. Connor Golton's love child. Craig whips it to the back post. I've gambled. All right, you always gamble. Ant and Dex, Saturday night. Takeaway and... At the back post, you gamble, people. And I've got my second of the game. Quite a funny little thing to look back at the start. We were just slightly out of reach there. But I get the goal. And Craig gets his assist that he well and truly deserved. Big CB number one back there. Give me a big curl there. The bond's growing. And there's my celebration for Rocky as well, man. I, 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 I wanted to dedicate all my goals to him. And it was great to see a moment like that get picked up on the old camera. And Getting a bit later in the game, they've been made to a couple changes. I'm a bit blown myself, but I knew they were, so I just run through. I put it through. There's the hat trick. Merci, Buku. Another wee dedication to the man, Rocky Boy Johnson, and a celebration. We have now took two goals ahead in. No. Oh, that is naughty for me. But you know what I love? Listen to Sharp Div. Get yourself a hype man like this. Love that big man, love the support for Sharp Devon. Let's run it back one more time for the kids all the way at the back so they can see. And obviously I keep the ball in. And this actually really annoys me and this annoys me for this clip. So I beat number eight here, he pulls my jersey, he gives me a shove. I'm trying to pass it to Jamie, shoves me in the back, pulls me, shoves me again. Referee doesn't give me anything. Again, could I be stronger at the end? Yes. Am I blowing? Yes. But is it a foul? Yes. And we end up getting punished from it. A gorgeous through ball again there, man. Is that number eight again? No, it's end up number eight that ends up scoring. It's a wonderful ball in behind, and it's a great finish. But again, should there have been a free kick there? Va, what's going on? Now, with the score at 6-4, people were just trying to hold on. We need our keeper to make a couple good saves. He does there. That's a deflected effort. The commitment for Dan as well. The brothers of destruction back there. And it's very brave goalkeeping for Shagger there as well. And look at this for a save for the big boy as well. That is what we love to see for Lou. He's just doing Lou things, people. Now, speaking of things, Matt Marley 13 and in amongst it, we love to see it. Number two is having a bit of a Barney, but that's what happens. And you know what I mean? This is what I love. Marley spent too much time in me. Look at the swagger at the end of it. Marley, love it, mate. Love it, mate. Speaking of love it, what a through ball here. I'm actually off the part now. There's less than three minutes to go. Really unlucky there for Craig. He's run his absolute heart out all afternoon. Then one of the weirdest moments of football history happens here. As again, there is less than a minute to go. And the referee blows for a penalty. And I'll let you hear what Gogs has to say. 
He's complaining about his nipples getting twisted, and to be fair to him, is that a penalty kick? Is it? I don't know, but up steps number eight. Lewis dives the right way. It's a great penalty kick. And from nothing, I would say, it's now 6-5. And you can probably hear me in the back of that clip showing how long left. Now, I think, is this number two? I'm not sure who this is, but someone tries to buy a penalty there and it's never a penalty kick in the month of Sundays. Sharp Dev's battling the big man in the middle of the park. He was actually very, very talented. You can tell me had a bit of football about him. Tries to have a shot, and this is quite weird for the number two. Don't really understand what that is all about. But again, there was supposed to be a minute left five minutes ago. We're still playing on. Lewis goes for the long ball. We're still playing on. Six or seven minutes later here. But eventually, after eight minutes, we hear the final whistle and the full whistle goes 6-5. What a game. Some great bits of football played. Some bad bits especially for me. But again, three goals. And I'm going to claim two assists. Can I claim two assists? Can somebody let me know in the comment section? If I win a penalty and they score, and I don't score it myself, do I claim that as an assist? Please, I need it, people. I need that fees in the comment section below. But obviously, we're having a wee bit of fun with the commentary and everything. You can see the boys are all happy. They're all struggling there. Me and Div can barely walk. We've been kicked for pillory post for the first whistle. Me and Big B celebrating. And that's what it's all about. We came together for a game of football to raise money for a great cause. Again, Let's Talk, which is encouraging people to speak out about their mental health and speak up if they're struggling. Great to see the community pulling together in Glasgow and everything. It was a great day. And shout out to Derek as well for putting his team together. It was a fantastic um, afternoon. I really, really enjoyed myself besides the kicks. But again, I kind of need them to get going. And I just want to thank every single person who's also tuning in to the video as well for helping the, to make this a reality. Again, th these types of days wouldn't be happening if you just wanted to tune in and watching the channel and supporting the channel over these years. Everyone knows my own struggles last year when I had to take a couple months break because I couldn't really deal with obviously the, the potential loss of Rocky as I knew it was coming to an end and that was spinning me out of control and speaking out, speaking to you guys really helped me and seeing the, the reaction and seeing how he's been ever since has been sensational so that's what I want to do now on the channel people, I want to make what this thing is that you have given me, which again I didn't deserve it but you have gave me a bit of something and I want to try and give it back as much as I can by playing in these games, raising money for causes so if you want me to do anything else let me know in the comment section below and again thank you so much to Let's Talk, it was a great game, as it stands right now there's over £2,000 raised, the raffle ends in two days, I will let you know if you you've been lucky enough to win the Ryan Jack raffle but if you want to help out the link's still active for another two days and that's it ladies and gentlemen until the next charity match thank you all so much for your support take it easy all the best and bye bye